Last week, a jury acquitted two men of all charges in a plot to kidnap Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer because it was clear that the FBI set the whole thing up. While it is surprisingly good news to hear of their acquittal, it is not strange to hear of the FBI setting people up. They've been doing it for generations. During the late 60s, FBI informant Tommy the Traveler traveled to colleges throughout the U.S. posing as a student protester. He encouraged nonviolent activists to make Molotov cocktail explosives out of gasoline and successfully convinced two students at Hobart College to firebomb a campus ROTC building. Joseph Burton was hired and funded by the FBI to start a group of Maoist radicals that was deployed to the 1972 Republican convention to encourage peaceful demonstrators to topple a bus and blow it up. The bomb that killed six people at the World Trade Center in 1993 was built with the help of FBI informant Imad Salem. After the bombing, the FBI paid Salem over a million dollars to recruit others in a plot to blow up other targets in New York City. After the 9-11 attacks, the FBI went public with their long secret tradition of entrapment. In 2004, FBI informant Elda Woody was paid $100,000 to gain the trust of Shawar Siraj, become his mentor, and turn the conversation towards planning acts of violent terrorism. For months before his arrest, Siraj is on record politely trying to say no. In 2006, FBI informant Ali Assad was paid $85,000 to bully followers of a cult-like group called the Seas of David to swear allegiance to Al-Qaeda, which is all they needed to give five of them long jail sentences. In 2012, five men in Cleveland were directed and groomed by the FBI to discuss the bombing of a bridge. In 2015, a week before actual terrorists Elton Simpson and Nadir Hamid Sufi opened fire on a crowd of people in Garland, Texas, an FBI agent commented, tear up Texas on their social media. That same FBI agent was dressed in Middle Eastern garb and drove behind the perpetrators on their way to the attack. The FBI claim that this is a coincidence. These are only a few of the instances that we know of. There are many more. The FBI has a long history of unchecked criminal activity. So it is no surprise to hear that the FBI planned the Governor Whitmer kidnapping. That is what they do. What is surprising is that the people are starting to wake up. And that's good. Because there are still hundreds of innocent Americans rotting away in jail for the so-called insurrection at the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. Another obvious false flag executed by the corrupt U.S. Department of Justice. And these same crooked liars are busy trying to lie and deceive us all into a nuclear war with the rest of the world. So it is a very good time for the people to start waking up. Our lives will likely depend on it. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.